Liz Thompson again at Genomi Canada, and I've got some things to show you today. Um, I'm working on the Genomi Continental M7, and I'm going to be doing some chain piecing. I believe I have 128 of these little units to put together, which would make me stir crazy if I didn't have a machine that took all the work out of it for me. So what I've done is I've threaded up the machine with a dark gray cotton thread, uh, in my bobbin and in my needle and I am going to go to the screen of the machine. I'm not going to move the camera and make you seasick and I am just going to choose the quarter inch um, stitch on the quilting uh, menu of the machine which is really cool because it moves my needle position way over to the right so that I get a good scant quarter inch or a quarter inch seam. And it also reduces, automatically reduces, the um, length of my stitch to uh, 1.8 millimeters, which makes it nice and narrow. And I do like to use this little ruler, and I used it earlier to check, and in fact, I am happy that that is a nice quarter inch seam. It's not a scant quarter inch, but I don't get my knickers in a twist about that, so long as I keep my same quarter inch throughout my entire quilt, I am good to go. So here I have on the machine the uh, O foot, which is our quarter inch piecing foot, and it has a little guide on the side. I personally like that guide. There were many, many quilters who complained and told us they didn't like that guide, and I used to tell them, well, just break it off if you don't like it. But I have good news for you is uh, some of our machines now come standard with an O foot and it does not have this little black guide on the right hand side of the foot. So we've got O foot with guide and O foot without guide. I happen to be using the one today with the guide. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to sew along and get to the end of my little block and then get my next unit, position my fabric so that it is positioned nicely on it and I don't have inaccuracies later because I was doing it too fast and didn't do it properly and then I simply carry on. So as you will notice I did not stop the machine, cut the threads, take the fabric out and then start the whole process over again. What I have done is I am simply popping them in one after the other and doing chain piecing. So I'm not going to do any more because uh, I think you've got the picture, but what I'm doing is I'm busy putting these all together for a mystery quilt. I have no clue whatsoever at this point uh, how this quilt is going to finish up, but I chose to use this magenta purple tone-on-tone uh, -tone print as my design fabric, and then I had a charm pack Oh, not a charm pack, sorry, a jelly, jelly roll of batik fabrics, and I've cut those up for my background fabric. So my background fabric is going to be all sorts of different colors. So it's going to be very interesting to see how it turns out. And obviously, much later on, when I have finished this quilt, I will be happy to share it with you. So that was just a little bit about piecing on the M7, the Continental M7. But in all honesty, that same piecing can be done on virtually all of our Janome sewing machines. So if you have one at home and you have this foot, you can do exactly what I've just shown you. Uh, if your machine doesn't have a specific quilting stitch, in other words, the one where it moves the needle position over to the right and drops the uh, stitch length to 1.8, you can always make those adjustments on the screen of your machine. Um, by reducing your stitch length and moving your needle position over. Okay, that's all for now.